Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays, and welcome to a new game called Plague Inc. Oh, I saw this game yesterday, and I picked it up for 15 bucks on Steam. And I've played it three times already. And the goal in this game is to destroy all humans. And like any good game, you either have to save all humans or destroy all humans. And it's always more fun to destroy them, isn't it? It's like when you have a... It's like when you have a movie and you have a hero and a villain. Sometimes I find myself rooting for that villain just because the villain never fucking wins, you know? You gotta have a villain sometimes. And today, that is us. We are going to hop in today as a Neurox worm. Well, let's go back and take a look. So I've played three times. I played once as a bacteria. We started in the USA and we destroyed all the people on the world. And then we played as a virus. We started in the Ukraine and we destroyed all the people on the world. And we started as a fungus in New Zealand. And we destroyed all the people in the world. And now we're going to go for a Neurax worm. It's a manipulative organism that burrows into the brain. I've never tried it before. Let's go in. Uh, I've unlocked these traits. The ionized helix, which gives you more uh, bonus DNA points when you devolve stuff. And Darwinist, which gives you more random mutations. Hooray! Let's hop in. Let's kill people. Uh, we're going to go for a normal game. Why not? Uh, okay, so we, we were Google+, and yes, Google+, we saw it on the stream, everybody. Google+, destroyed the world. Uh, what should we name our Neurox worm? Come on, Twitch chat. Give me a creative name here. Call it bears? No, not bears. You're crazy. Brain fuck? No, not brain fuck. Creationism? <laughs> oh, goodness. Chlamydia? YouTube? Reddit? The World Cup? Beaver Fever? Flying Spaghetti Monster? Oh, I like that. Communism? Novgorod? Call it Religion? The Internet? Call it Windows 8? Call it PewDiePie? <laughs> oh, goodness. We got some good ones today, don't we? No, I, I think I think flying spaghetti monster works. Oh, it doesn't fit. Uh Oh shit. There we go. It's the flying spag monster. <laughs> Let's be a spag monster everybody. Oh goodness. All right, welcome to Play Gink. You are an oh, you are new to the Neurox worm. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world. Wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Hooray! <laughs> uh, start location. Okay, so since we have already done the USA, and we did Ukraine, and we also did New Zealand, let's try uh, South America, maybe? Let's go for, let's go for Morocco. We are Morocco. Woohoo! All right, so at the beginning here, we... Oh, here we go. The flying spag monster has infected its first human. Weak and used to hot temperatures. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. All right. Doink. So you get these little pop-ups. Some of them are free DNA points. Oh, the Neurax worm emerges. Emerges. Flying spag monster is a Neurax worm, undiscovered for thousands of years. Now humans have entered its natural habitat and given it the means to spread. Woohoo! Uh, so we get little pop-ups. Some of them tell you that you have entered a new country, and that'll be the ones that look like, um, what is it, the radioactive symbol? Um, no, it's the biohazard symbol. So you'll see the biohazard symbol on pop-ups when you've infected a new nation, and then you'll see this symbol, the helix symbol, when you get um, like uh, some type of leap forward in genetic coding. Uh, and then as a Neurax worm, oh, there we are. Oh, we can't spin it? Damn, we can't spin it. As a Neurax worm, we get uh, choices on how to transmit. Now, I haven't seen this before, so it's new to me. It's different than normal stuff. Normal stuff you spread by, like, rats and birds and over the air and over sea. Uh, but as a Neurax worm, we have, what is this? Ability to grip with portions of the body while pulling, pushing other sections allows faster movement outside the host, increases infectivity. Uh, Neurax worm produces eggs that are ejected from the host brain in the thousands, increases infectiousness. Uh-huh. Uh, worm able to exchange genetic material inside the host body increases chance of mutation. Cool. Uh, we don't have any symptoms yet. 
Breach the blood brain barrier and allow access to the host brain. Causes dystonia. Rapid eye blinking. Cool. Ooh, abilities. Man, this is all neat. This is all so new. Uh, manipulation of dopamine tra transporters results in a form of ADHD, which encourages the host to fly to a target country. Hmm. So this will allow you to get across uh, other countries. Okay, so let's go for some wonderful infectiousness. Let's go for eggs. Let's evolve some eggs. Oh, actually, this will increase our severity. Ooh, this will increase our severity a lot. Ooh, severity is your chance of getting discovered. And I really don't want to get discovered. Okay, here's here. This one will not add any discovery, but it will increase infectivity. Let's go for that. Ooh, what's next? Cerebral tendrils. And this will also not add any discovery. Let's go for it. Hmm. Okay, this one adds discovery. Confusion. Dopamine production stimulated cause harder to concentrate on complex work. Okay. Ooh, does this actually lower our discovery? It does. Beta receptor blockers increased or released, dampening the anxiety in the host and lessening severity. Ooh, that's amazing. A adrenergic adrenergic constriction actually lowers the severity that is amazing oh i want that uh severity is how quickly you get noticed the quicker you get noticed the quicker people in the world start working for a cure to your disease uh but if, if we keep our severity low we may never get noticed that would be amazing hmm. all right and let's unpause and let's watch our disease spread all right so there's only two people infected three now Four now, okay. Um, yeah. The consciousness thought center, frontal mesh. Ooh, gain ability to mentally manipulate the host. Ooh, yes, please. What's coming up next? Da -da -da. All of these increase the severity now, so we can no longer avoid increasing the severity. So if we do any of these confusion, perceptive jolt, or immaturity. Hormone production altered, which causes reduction in maturity. Lower levels of hy hygiene increase infection. Uh, if we do any of these, it will increase our severity, but we can then do this one, which lowers our severity. Hmm. It's kind of expensive, though, on the whole DNA points. Oh, here we go. Free DNA. Good, good. Flying spag monster begins to spread. Good. Yes. Spread, flying spag monster. Hmm. London Olympics mystery. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Organizers promise it won't happen again. Evolve the eggs and then lower the severity. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So if we evolve the eggs, you can see it bumps up our severity a little bit. And then we can lower the severity. Oh, wow. Look at that. It lowers it down to like zero. Now nah, let's just wait. Uh, can we evolve any of this? Worm eggs attach themselves to the fur of rats for urban environments. Uh, mosquitoes for hot environments. Or birds for increased transmission. Ooh, they're all good. Well, we're in Africa, so I think the mosquito is going to be the most useful. Uh, let's get that. And then uh, this. Oh, man, that really lowers our... Yeah, do it. Nice. And we can do it again. We can do it again. We can lower our severity again. Oh, man, that's going to be great. So this should help spread really nice. Mosquitoes are amazing for hot environments. Ooh, infects hundreds. Yes, it does. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. Thousand people infected. We're getting there. Oh, the flying spag monster spreads to Algeria. Algiers has been infected with the biohazard symbol there. We, inf we now infected West Africa. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Those hot climates. Those hot climates. Get the ability, Shenrer. Get what ability? That was the most useful comment ever. <laughs> Huge earthquake in Australia. No! 
Ooh, billions of dollars of damage caused in Australia. WA, the World Health Organization expects it will take years to repair the damage, cost a thousand of businesses, homes, and research facilities. But it does give me time to slurp my coffee. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, those mosquitoes are doing a lot of work. We're up to 150,000 people infected. Mmm. Mmm. And we have tons of points to use now. Alright, let's see. Do we want to go for some cold... Some hot, some drug resistance. Probably go for the heat resistance first. Unless we want to go to on the airplanes first. Encourages hosts to fly to a target country. Hmm. Trojan planes. <laughs> hmm. Eggs hatch when they experience incre increase in, war in, in warmth, likely due to human activity, greatly increasing infection. Uh, let's see. Worms able to exchange genetic material inside the host's body, increasing mutation. Don't want mutations yet. Ability to grip with portions of their body while pulling other sections allows faster movement outside the host, increasing infectivity. Hmm. Well, we want it to keep spreading as much as possible. Uh, I think we'll go for the birds. The birds are useful. Uh, the rats are going to be for urban, but we don't need the urban just yet. Uh, do we want the eggs? Probably not the eggs just yet. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Oh man, all these things. All these things. There we go. We have infected Libya. Take that, Libya. Yeah. Yeah. And each country will have specific traits. There goes Central Africa. Each country will have specific traits, and you can adjust your disease to... You can tailor it to be good or bad in certain areas. For instance, Morocco, where we started, is poor, rural, arid, and... I think... Is that dry? Yeah, dry. Per, poor, rural, arid, and dry. So our disease starts out sort of okay for those conditions. And then we can adjust it to be better for cold if we want it to head somewhere else. So we're going to have to add some cold resistance. There we go. We've infected Egypt. Or was that the Sudan? That was Egypt. University debate controversy. Huge controversy erupts over university debate whether it's fair for parents living off state benefits to give birth to children which they can't support. Man. There we go. Sudan. Good, good. Okay, so we can now choose to infect a target country. So this is unique, I guess. There we are, sitting on top of the brain. This is unique, I guess. It allows us to go to a specific country. Not sure if we should do that yet. Let's wait for now. Uh, I would like to get some cold resistance. Uh, because we're going to need to get to some colder countries. Uh, drug resistance would help in richer countries. All this stuff is going to be nice. Um, we don't need that just yet, though. Mm, let's get the heat resistance as well. So we should spread much quicker across Africa now. And from Egypt, Egypt has an airport and two seaports. From Egypt, uh, that's going to be our, our key to getting outside of Africa. It is uh, it's arid... Uh, what's that called? Uh dry arid and dry right hot and dry my bad hot and dry god man the first one is either hot or cold like russia is cold and wet and rural greenland is cold not wet not rural usa is not cold not wet it is urban and rich yeah each country has different things like that new aid program for poor countries uh oh no 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 fuck you un UN announced new initiative for poor countries making them less vulnerable to disease. God damn it. But these poor countries, they need my disease. They need it. Well, we're getting there. You can see Algeria filling up with all these wonderful little blotches. Look at those little blotches. Go, Algeria. Go, yes. Go, West Africa. Uh, Anexoc infusion symptom mutated. What's that? What is that? Oh! It automatically gave us this, which lowered our severity to zero. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. 
We might as well get something for transmission then, because our severity has been reduced to zero. Perceptive jolt, confusion, psychosis. Ooh, neato. Let's go for some more transmission. I think let's get some let's get some more eggs. Hmm, eggs, delicious eggs. And da -da -dum. more mutations. Sure, more mutations. Well, no. Let's go for general locomotion. Okay. You want to get the Trojan planes? Alright, well, where do you want to go with the Trojan planes? So how do we choose which country we go to with the Trojan Plains? Does anyone know how to go to the Trojan Plains? Oh, there we go. Spread Trojan... Pop the bubble, then click the country where, people to, where you want people to travel to. Okay. Doink. Uh, Greenland? USA? Canada? Where should we go with the Trojan Plains? The UK? Brazil? The flying spag monster is having fun. It sure is. Flying spag monster is going everywhere. Look at this. Spreading like crazy. Living off that human brain fruit. Go to Norway. Madagascar. All right, let's go for Greenland then. Done. Onward. Ah, we just made it to uh, the Middle East and Saudi Arabia. Good, good. Oh, a new minor disease is spreading. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Morocco found a new disease which has been named Flying Spag Monster. It appears to be mostly harmless. Damn right we're harmless. We are also more infectious than HIV. Ooh. And we don't really do anything yet. Oh, there we go. Scientists tell the public not to worry about the flying spag monster. Although unpleasant, it doesn't appear to cause any symptoms in humans and will be easily cured. Good times, good times. Oh, we can now pick another place. Oh, so we don't have to... Oh, we don't have to uh, research this again. It just pops up randomly? Oh my goodness, yes. Oh man, look at that. Wow. I thought we would have to research it again. I was wrong. Ooh. Yes, let's go to those hard to reach islands. That's fantastic. We made it to Iraq and New Guinea. Oh my goodness, look at this, we're going everywhere. Oh, this is beautiful. How frequently do we get these pop-ups? That's awesome. Oh my God. I'm just gonna go to all the islands. Medicine in New Zealand is slowing the infection. To spread faster, you may need to evolve drug resistance. All right, let's get it. Drug resistance. There we go. 14 DNA points. I got you covered, baby. Uh, we could get cold resistance and arid resistance, but we already have level one. I think level one will be okay. I want to save up our points, baby. Made it to Brazil. Nice. Made it to the UK. One sec. Oh, sorry about that. I had something in my throat. Maybe it was one of these. Oh, we made it to India and Spain. Oh, my goodness. Very high levels of bird migration expected. Nice. I like that bird migration. All right, where do we want to go next? Let's go to Iceland. Tough place to get to. Ah, oh, we're in the USA. We're in the USA. Oh, the London Olympics are black are back on. Great. The Olympics will soon begin despite flying spag monster. Will people bring the disease to the UK? Of course they will. Hmm. Get another airplane. Good, good. Let's go to Japan. Let's 
Let's go everywhere. We're in Australia now. And you can, if you click on the world here, you can see all the nations that have been infected in this middle list, and then all the, all the nations on the left which have not been infected. Uh, and then all the nations on the right which have been killed entirely. Well, nobody's been killed entirely just yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there, baby. All right, let's go to... Fuck it, go to China. Nice. Oh, yeah. London Olympics infect the UK. Some people infected with a flying spag monster came to London. Damn right they did. And Mexico, and Germany, and Bolivia. Oh, yeah. Pakistan. Uh, man, we're getting everywhere. Fuck it. Go to... Go to Finland. And we're in Canada, too. The Philippines? Um, yeah, we'll get there. Russia's infected. Philippines. Done. Doink. Venezuela. Finland again? Or was that Denmark? It was, it was I mean, it was that Norway. It was Norway. All right, we're getting there. Some free points. Oh shit, we're at maximum points. Uh, maximum points, what do we want? Let's get some more drug resistance. And let's, uh, genetic hardening. Let's get some genetic hardening. Make it harder for people to research. In case they do want to go for a cure, let's make it harder. Done. Wow, where the hell do we want to go now? Let's go to... Oh, nobody's in Korea yet. Let's go to Korea. Sounds like fun. Flying Spag Monster Awareness Day. Charities are holding a Flying Spag Monster Awareness Day to raise the profile of this disease and encourage development of a cure. Aww. Why? Why would you encourage development of a cure? There's nothing wrong with the Flying Spag Monster. I don't know what you're talking about. We have a billion people infected. And the UK, uh-oh, the UK is leading global cure effort. That's not good because the UK has a lot of research beakers. All right, well, now that they are actually researching a cure, we're going to have to... Oh, no one's infected in the Ukraine. Is that right? Well, we can fix that. We're going to have to click, click, click these little beakers that pop up to slow down the cure. There you go. Click those beakers, baby. More infectious than the common cold. We got two billion people infected. Nice. UK shuts down seaports. Oh, that's just too bad. That's just too bad. I'm already in the UK. We're already there. Brazil's working on a cure. All right. All right. Anyone not infected yet? Poland's not infected. There you go. Doink. Oh, shit. We're at 100, 100, 100, 101? We have 101? Hmm. Okay. Um... Uh, Let's slow down the research again. Take that, research team. All right, what other symptoms can we go for? Let's see, confusion, dopamine, let's see, harder to concentrate on complex work. I like that. Doink. Ah, here we go. Neurotic, memory loss. Nice, very hard to cure. Take that. Aneurysm. Tendrils feed off blood vessels in the brain which cause aneurysms. Can be lethal and hard to accurately diagnose. Well, I think I'll stick with this one. We don't want our lethality just yet. Lethality is for when you have everyone infected. So we don't want everyone infected. We just want to confuse the shit out of people. Percep uh, perceptive jolt. Tendrils increase brain pressure, resulting in fever which disrupts the host's priorities and decision making. Sounds good to me. Doink. Tendrils mesh with the occipital lobe, the visual processing center. Hosts are less likely to notice worm infections. Ooh. And of course, we could also go for psychosis. Oh, yeah. Psychosis, baby. Doink. Nice. Uh, despair. Altered serotonin levels impact mood regulation, induce feelings of despair in the host, and lessen self-preservation instinct. What else? Adoration. Surges of testosterone and, and estrogen hijack host emotions and create the desire to spread the infection. <laughs> uh, perceptive shift. Worm grows to significantly increase intracranial pressure, severely disrupting the host. Cool. 
There's lots of neat things we can do here. Hmm. We're definitely going to need rats one. Not sure if we need rats two, but let's at least get rats one. Alright. So now the goal is to do like we have in Africa. You can see Af South Africa completely infected. It's all red. East Africa completely infected. Uh, everywhere in Africa is infected 100%. And that's what we need before we start killing people. That's what we need. Uh, where are we in, let's see, Saudi Arabia, 100%. Turkey, 100%. All right. Per Iran, all right, Persia, Iran. Getting there. Brazil, almost all infected. Look at that, going up by the millions. Oh, we sent we sent a thousand infected people to Russia. Lovely. So the planes can also increase the number of infected. That's nice. It doesn't just spread. It also increases the number of infected. Yeah, the number in Greenland isn't going up so slowly. We're gonna need some. Greenland is just cold. Well, we're gonna need some more drug resistance, but I think we already have that. Yeah, we already have max drug resistance. Let's get some extra cold resistance. There you go. There you go. Finland is completely infected. That's nice. The Balkan states need some more infection. Go there. USA is infected. 100% of the USA is infected. I love it. Ah, go help out in Canada. Airplanes use new sterilization air filters. New air filters are now bringing... Oh, shit. Only advanced airborne diseases can survive on them. God damn it. God damn it. Who's not infected? Good, good question. Um, there is nobody not infected. Every country in the world has been infected. Beautiful. So we've made it everywhere. Australia is 100% infected. Aneurysm symptom. Okay. Uh, the problem with aneurysm is I think it adds some lethality. It does. But it's just a tiny bit of lethality. That's probably okay. Uh, what's next? Aphasia. Bruised tissue causes language impairment. Makes developing a cure significantly harder. Hmm. Yeah, fuck you and your cure. Well, we'll leave that alone for now. But we could do that. The first death in Argentina. Yeah, now that we have some lethality, we actually have some dead. Poor bastards. Balkans need some more infections. Or the Baltic, I mean. I know what I meant. Alright, Greenland's getting there. Iceland, pretty slow. 9,000, 2,000, 6 million, 158,000. 200,000. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, go to the UK. Alright, let's use some of our points here. Despair sounds fun, but it does cause people to die. Go for adoration. Okay, let's go for adoration. Devotion. Surges of dopamine and serotonin compel the host to constantly think about the worm. Ooh, rushes of pleasure. Ooh. Obsession. Severe damage to the uh, orbital cortex triggers OCD, forcing the host to obsess over a specific worm-related task. Ooh. Insanity. No, that increases lethality. Aggression. That increases lethality. Mania. Okay, that does not increase lethality. Increase excess serotonin production triggered. Manic episodes lead to increased contact with others and an inability to focus. Transcendence. Overdose of... Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the difference in severity from this one thing. Treating the Neurox worm as an eternal god. Whoa! That sounds fun, but we're, we're really close to max points. Let's, let's not do max points. Let's not do that until we have more points. New obsession, avoiding parasitic worms. 
Reports coming in all over the world that an extreme obsession with avoiding parasitic worms. Severe measures being taken. Oh no! Don't avoid getting infected. You want to be infected. Australia is breaking down. Yeah! Ports are closed. Oh, look at that. You can see their research in Australia is going down. Nice. Alright, where else do we need to go? Who's got a low percentage of infected? The Baltic still needs some help. The UK needs a lot of help. Yeah, more to the UK. Stupid researchers. More to the Baltic. Come on, we gotta get infected. Oh, they're really trying on that cure, aren't they? I feel bad for them. They're not gonna get. They're not gonna get it. These these diseases, man. This worm. Oh shit, we're killing very fast. I don't want to kill. Well, not yet. Yeah, we have drug resistance. Um, we have drug resistance 1 and 2. So we have that. The iCure device has been announced. Applesoft announces the new iCure device to help cure the flying spag monster. <laughs> Good luck with that. Perceptive shift. Alright, I have to take a look and see what perceptive shift does. Because I don't know offhand. Perceptive shift. What does that do? I don't know. Perceptive shift. There it is. Worm grows to significantly increase. Okay, gotcha. Cognitive scrambling. Ooh. More people in Russia, please. You can see the world's almost all infected, but there's still a million. There's still a million. No, that's that's dead. There's still a few million people that are not infected. It's gonna be tough, man. The UK is the one that's gonna be tough. Their land borders are closed. No, they reopened them, then they closed them again. They're really trying a lot to to stop this. They're bastards. Evolve sweating. I'm not sure we can do sweating. We're not a normal disease. I'm not sure we can do sweating. Hmm. We do need more transmission, though. Hmm. More rats might be good. Yeah, more rats. Make it happen. Because we need the UK, man. We need the UK. It's a wet and cold place. Uh, we... We do have cold, too. We could go for... No, it's too expensive. I'm not going to go for arid, too. We need the UK. I think Russia will go. Disturbing reports of the flying spag monster. Ooh, scientists proved that the flying spag monster could theoretically manipulate human thoughts to its advantage. Ooh. Cool. The cure is 50% complete. Oh no. Alright, I think we have the UK now. Yep, UK is going to go. We got it. Uh, the Baltic is going. Uh, Iceland is going to be the holdout. Again! Iceland again! We just played this a, a little bit ago as a fungus, and Iceland was the one holdout. We did get them, but uh, it was tough. Confirmed! Flying Spag Monster has the ability to control humans! Oh yeah! Let's do it. Let's control them humans. Transcendence. Doink! Control all humans. Fly to Iceland. Germany is an anarchy. Oh no, not Germany. Yep, there goes the UK. 
UK is done. Infected worship flying spag monster. Yay! And people infected with the flying spag monster are reporting visions of rapture and a glorious new overlord species. Without a cure, life as we know it will be over. Hmm. Come on, finish up. Oh yeah, we're gonna get Iceland. We got this. We got this shit, baby. We got it. It's all over. Nuclear explosion in the USA. Uh-oh. Huge nuclear explosion in the USA reveal uh, released a vast cloud of radioactive particles. Cause is unknown, but location suggests failure of nuclear power plant containment systems. Hmm. All right, we're going to send all of our... Oh. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look how many are dead thanks to that nuclear explosion. Oh, my goodness. That nuclear explosion killed 200 million people. Wow. All right, everyone fly to Russia. That's the last holdout. But I think we've got it. Yeah, we got this shit. It's all over. Yep, Iceland's almost done. Russia's almost done. Flying spag monster genome sequence. Ah, oh, it's just too bad that we've infected the whole world. Hmm. Who's got worms on the brain? You've got worms on the brain. Insanity. That's fine. Nothing wrong with a little insanity. There are no healthy people left in the world. Yes, the flying spag monster has now infected every single individual on the planet. Now we have to choose. Do we kill everyone? Ah, the flying spag monster enslaves humanity. The whole world worships the flying spag monster as their god and master. Efforts to cure the plague have ceased, and humanity is entering a dark new future as a slave species. Ah, good times. <laughs> good times. Victory! The whole world worships the flying spag monster as their god and master. Efforts to cure the plague have ceased, and humanity is entering a dark new future as a slave species. Okay, so this is different. So the first three times we played this, uh, we killed all the humans. At this time, we didn't kill them. Well, the USA self-destructed with a nuclear holocaust, but that was their own doing. We didn't do that. Excellent. Cool. Very neat. And you can watch on Fast Forward if you want to see all that stuff. They have some graphs to show you what happened, but nah, I'm not too worried about that. I, I think that was... That was quite entertaining. All right, and that was it. Oh, the symptostasis gene type and parasite have been discovered. All right, we'll have to do a parasite next time. What's the parasite look like? Parasite, parasitic lifestyle, or yeah, prevents DNA alteration from everyday infection. Okay, interesting. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this uh, little glimpse into Plague Inc. I've been Shen, you've been you, and that was a Neurax worm enslaving humanity. Fun times. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.